this is another station in New York, which I chose. There's my coast to coast music, which I chose because it had an Air Force base. And I guess this is no longer legal because that technically may be considered profiling. Fort Drum Air Force Base. So, you know, they have whatever technology they need and they don't have to work hard to hide it. However, it also sort of implies it doesn't interfere with other sensitive equipment like an airplane. We also have some very high-tech boats in the Great Lakes now, like missile frigate type friggin boats. <laughs> and during the FEMA test, one of the things that Wisconsin did was they practiced um, pretending that there was a hostile ship in the Great Lake of Michigan. And at that time, I've taken pictures of it. It's down below in my earlier videos, one of my earliest, with a beam coming right out of the middle of Lake Michigan on the same day that they were pretending there was a hostile vessel there. And I laughed thinking it was a false flag because there really was a hostile vessel there. TYX, another one I don't understand. Fort Drum Air Force Base, Montague, New York. And it's TYX. Quite a few people have left comments here and there on these things. I'm just trying to get the data out because I started with the most general. My theory is that people can zoom in on what they want and then drill down to the details of their own choosing. And by looking at it from the beginning or from the overview uh, you'll know where to look, hopefully, because otherwise it's like looking in a microscope and trying to find the amoeba uh, uh, with full zoom. And you can be a hundred thousandth of an inch away from it and never see it. Or like taking your telescope and looking for the moon with it fully zoomed in, and it's hard to find the moon. Anyway, 